Welcome to the System Verilog interview series. My name is Victor, I'm a design verification engineer, and I've interviewed over uh, 100 engineers for the various design and verification positions. So in this series, we're going to be covering some real questions that would be asked by uh, high-tech companies regarding System Verilog, uh, typically for positions such as a design verification engineer. So we're going to start off the first question with uh, basically a warm-up, something pretty simple just to uh, get get things rolling here. Um, so over here we have some code and um, we have a variable number and a variable count. And the goal here is to write some code over here um, to count the number of ones that are present in the variable number. And in the output here, we output number as a hex and as binary, and we want the count to uh, contain the count of actual ones. So down here, you can see uh, the number in hex, and if you count the ones, there'll be 14 ones here, so we want this count to be 14. Uh, so you can uh, rerun the code, and you see initially the count is, uh, is zero. So after writing the code, the answer should look like this. The count should be 14. And I'm, I'm not showing the correct answer here, so you can work on it. So if I rerun this, uh, the answer will be 14. Now you noticed, another thing you noticed is that the um, number is always the same, because uh, the seed uh, is being used as a default seed. Um, another recommended thing to try out is to actually use a switch, svseed random, uh, it's a switch for model sim that will actually randomize the seed and then if you run it uh, you'll get a different number every time so you see this is a different number there's 16 ones now in this new number and you can see the seed over here so I encourage you to try this out and uh, post comments if you have any questions